Today I'm going to do a quick update on what's going on with the truck. I know I got my dirty clothes on. Uh, actually, they're clean, but they're just my work clothes and everything. So I wanted to address a couple issues, or actually comments that uh, people sent us. First one was uh, about the signal noise inside the truck on my driver's side blinker. The, what's going on there is the truck blinker itself, the, that bulb has burned out. And so after a couple blinks, it makes the blinker system go faster but I do have a blinker on this side still. Just does a little faster. I'm not gonna tear the camper off the truck at this point to replace the bulb. Also, somebody said, well, you don't have a backup light on this side. Actually, I do, but in the video, you'll see it sits behind this. Also, what is really sweet about this Lance camper that I just really dig is up top, there's these two lights up top. They're called docking lights. And when I hit the reverse, um, those things light up so I can see really well. You can see it's blinking, uh, just a little faster pace. Like I said, I'm not gonna pull the camper off to pull that light assembly out to change the light bulb. Uh, it's still working. Backup light here, backup light down here, and the best of all, my two docking lights up top. So if I get a backup camera, but I do have a backup camera. Actually, it's called Miss Terry. She gets out and makes sure we're all good. Also, like what I'm gonna do is a uh, filter change. As I went ahead and put a mat down, here's my new Napa filter. I go with the gold. I think that's about the best one. Um, Aja has this device, which will grab my canister and go ahead and spin it off. You can see it right there with the little white uh, device a uh, little white knob on it. I'll loosen that up and it will drain some of the diesel out I have my Container down here to pick it up Also, I've already disconnected the water sensor and it's sitting back there out of the way So I've seen other videos and what they said is you could take out the liner here Take off the tire, but I watched the gentleman do it last time and uh, he did none of the above He just spun the old canister off Pulled it down. It's not the it's going to be a mess to a degree um, and then put the new cartridge in and it takes a few times of rolling the engine over for just a split second and letting the pump build it up. I guess it's three times and then the truck should fire right back up. So we're going to give it a shot on that anyways. Um, we're going to work on that today. I just wanted to answer the questions. Yes, I have all the backup lights. Yes, I know the blinker goes quick. Um, but like I said, for two hours or whatever it takes to take the camper off and put the camper back on, I'll do that back home when we get there and um, not worry about it. I drive in the slow lane anyways. I don't, I don't do left-hand turns. No, I'm kidding. All right, I'll get to work on this. I'll show you a little bit of that and um, hopefully we can get the truck fired back up. It's running fine now to a degree, but after the last incident, I had a lot of people just say, you're better to be on it then have that incident happen. Like I said, I think I'm in a good spot to do it myself. And if I'm stuck, I'm stuck here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What a beautiful place, no complaints. Okay, like I said, I have my canister down below to catch things. I'm gonna go ahead and open this valve up. Should drain the diesel fuel. I hear it draining. It is going into my container. I will give it a little bit of time. And then what I was also told is you kind of crack the canister and um, it will put air up top, which should allow it to drain out. Just less of a mess or whatever there. Okay, see if I can get this in there. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do it one-handed, but... <clears throat> oh, oh, we got it turning. Oh. I think I'm hearing rocks fall as a hook because it's been a little ways. 
Now, like I said, this is an aftermarket canister. Um, just because I'm not around the Dodge dealerships all that much. Okay, this is... Well, we know the rule. Sorry about the bounciness. Uh, the rule usually is it comes apart a lot easier than it goes back together. So, and you can see this is the where you the uh, inlet where you plug in the water sensor. And you disconnect that. I put it back here. Um, and then basically you just spin it all back around. The new filter comes with a O-ring also. So, there's the new O-ring for it, the new filter. And, uh, I have no problem, uh, putting the original Dodge stuff back on, but... One, like I said, there was there was no Dodge dealership around. Also, I have been dealing with Napa for years and years and years, and uh, I have never had an issue. If I had any kind of situation, I could take it back. They took care of me every time, and uh, I just like Napa, especially the one back home, old West Bay. Love you guys. Anyways, I'll spin that off in a little bit, and we'll see what the filter looks like. I guess this is kind of preventive maintenance because we're going from Myrtle Beach, back to Washington I think it's right around uh, Washington State I think it's right around 3200 miles something like that which for us is a month and a half it's gonna take so we'll get it apart and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at the filter so I've gotten the filter off or the filter container off with the filter uh, really doesn't look all that bad to me but um, it's time to change it and it just seems easier for me before I head back over the mountains so like I said, this is a Napa replacement part for what the truck came with stock. I used the wrench around this little part. It came off really easy. But if you see right here, it has a half inch drive. And so you can have an extension and that'll also spin it off that way. Uh, like I said, I just, I like Napa. They've done a good job for me and everything. And they're always easy to find a place to, um, uh, to find for the filter. What I have learned since the last thing in everybody's comments was, uh, just carry one of these around just buy one and carry it around seems a lot easier i did not do it this time but i happened on my way to myrtle beach see a napa went in and got one now at first this listed the lady told me it was going to be 64 dollars now when i bought this whole system last time in uh i forget kansas i believe i was i paid 84 dollars for the canister and the filter so i said something to her i go hey um i think the filter is only like 40 some dollars you know can I get a good guy uh, discount? I paid $32. So a little lesson here, learn that people you can try, because it doesn't hurt, it's free, is just say, hey, what about a good guy discount? Might save you nothing, might save you $30. So anyways, I'm gonna let this dry out a little. I'll wipe this out and clean it out. I'll get the new filter ready to go. And uh, honestly, it's, so far it's, been pretty daggone easy and I'm kind of glad I had it done before because I really wasn't sure about it um, guess I should have watched a YouTube video and learned how to do that anyways I'll get ready to install the new filter into the canister after I wipe it out and then we'll see about firing the truck up so I just grabbed my brand new filter and I'm looking at my old filter and I'm seeing a few things different so I'm gonna go ahead and call up the uh, Napa and ask them to make sure that I have the right one before I tear it out of the bag and put it in. I'm not seeing any numbers on this. It does say Cummings on it, and I'm not seeing anything on this filter here that says anything different. It doesn't say Cummings. It doesn't say anything. I'm not sure if, since this came as a kit, if that's just a replacement or what. I'm going to go ahead and give them a call before I put this thing back together. Hey, I just got off the phone with Napa. He assured me that the 3733 is the correct filter for my 07 and a half 6.7. All right, I've installed the new filter. You wanna make sure you push it down so that those tabs are sitting right flush with the top. Actually not flush, but they're all the way down. So what you do also is you put a little bit of uh, oil, new oil on this new O-ring. Wipe it down and then uh, put her back where she goes. So. so I have the filter reinstalled. Let me show you down here. You can see it's 
pretty much turned exactly to the same position it was before. I have my water sensor hooked back up. I have my tube back on. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the engine for just a split second, leave the ignition on for, 20 sec for 10 seconds and do that three times and then she should fire her up. So let's hope it works. All right, so what I've done is I've uh, Mark down my uh, mileage on the rig, so I know about the filter. Got her in neutral. I have to depress the clutch and roll it over for just a little bit. Leave it on for a few seconds while the pump picks up. And I'll do this three times. Okay, now that she fired up, we'll go in here, just to make sure we're not dumping a bunch of fuel anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. Uh, one, just to warm up. It hasn't ran in a few days. And to double check it. Um, Boy, that wasn't bad at all changing that. I'm so relieved about doing that. It was a piece of cake and uh, lesson learned. Change it when you can. And also, like I said, if you go to the auto parts store, always just ask them. It doesn't hurt. Ask them for the good guy uh, discount. So to save a buck, save the buck. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about changing the... Um, fuel filter on a Ram uh, 3500 with a 6.7 and also uh, while I'm thinking about it I had a comment about the other day we got we heated up a little bit and then it kicked back off and somebody said about checking the radiator so I check this all the time you can see nice and clean here clean in there uh, when I get back home I'll re-clean this engine off and detail it um, and actually wash the truck. I haven't been around any water uh, to wash it. And I can't wait to find a, a hose because there's no water on this property at this moment. All right. Thanks again for watching us. If you have to change your oil or your fuel filter in a Dodge Ram, piece of cake. Thanks again for watching.